So here's another fun, exciting edition of Jonathan Masters putting Pueblo on the map. Now this election here is peculiar. I cannot find the city council election for Pueblo in 2005. Now I'm going through every four years there's a city council election. Apparently four of them are up, two of them are at large. One, district 1 and District 3 for this year. There's also a uh, water board member and a civil service member. So six total candidates along with at least two ballot questions that I know of. Probably he another ballot question here and there. And probably other political positions. Because if you look at the last uh, four or five elections four years ago. If you stagger four years. Not stagger. Just go back every four years. Each one of these elections here, let's take a look at uh, this one here. It's 2001. And look at all these positions. So it's not just a city council here. So you got a city council race, the at-large race. You vote for two of the, uh, you know, six. There's six of them. Vote for two. Mike Ochiato and Bill Sova. They got 6,000 votes, so they won. And that's the city council member of 2001, Mike Ochiato and Bill Sova. I don't know where they're at today, but that's, uh, you know, back in the day, it was uh, good old Mike Ochiato. Okay, so uh, the comparisons, the similarities, we've got the at-large council here. We got the council district one here, Bob Schilling. He's running again, so he's been running what since 2001. You have Randy Thurston, so you got another district county two. You have a board of waterworks, two of them, and so those are weird because those are six-year positions. But we have one position, and they have two. Then they have a civil service commissioner. So a civil service commissioner is also what we're voting on too. So we have, basically they just have one water member more than what the city of Pueblo has to vote for now. But look at all this other shit. What the fuck is all this other shit? You know, when maybe two ballot questions and they got like um, two or three or, f you know, fucking six ballot questions. So look at all the extra shit. Fowler School District, the director of District B, director of District D. And only one of each ran for each one of those positions. Who the fuck decided they get political power? All right? They got on the ballot somehow. This is a coordinated election. That's what they are calling this year's a coordinated election. This is 2001. This is 2013. Uh, this was also a coordinated election. It says cumulative. I don't see where it says it. But they're all they're called official coordinated election pair 2009. So, uh, real fast, look at the total mail-in. So, total ballots cast, 31,137. So, 30% turnout rate, 31,000 voted in 2009. 44,780 voted in 2013. So, that's quite a jump, is it not? It went from 32,000 to... 44,000 and actually this just the registered voters actually came out and voted because the registered voters see it's 94,000 there and it is 103,000 so actually there was more registered voters in 2009 but a higher turnout rate so it was 40 percent 47 percent turnout rate so 2013 had a great turnout rate and look at this. Okay, so we got again another waterworks member, another civil service commissioner, and then all this extra shit. So the uh, 60 director at large vote for two of them. Only two of these four are going to win. So who is this? The director of the public school director 60, and then here 70 director district three. So how many directors do each one of these di districts get? And then Jill Doolin, she ran against nobody. So what the fuck was the point of that election? This 70 director district four here, Mark S. Emery. It's almost like these are secret little elections. How do you get on this ballot? If I want to run for the 70 director district, how the fuck would I get, you know, do something like that? 
Here's another 70 district f five, and this was competitive. Deborah Halton and Jonathan Ambler, but still, what the fuck? What is this? And then look, the Board of Waterworks. It says vote for two. So both Kevin McCarthy and Michael Cafasso, they both won. They both became Board of Waterworks members. State 66. What the? What is even? What is that? State 66. State double A. What the fuck is that? R4J Director District D. I mean, I'm sure these motherfuckers are getting tax dollars. R4J Director District B. In County 1A, there's a ballot initiative 2013. County 1A, County 1B, and then Pueblo Rural FPD. So Fire Protection 5A. And they voted that up. So whatever the fuck those questions were about. But they had three ballot questions, right? So essentially same same ballot that I'm looking at. But I don't know anything about the city, the school districts, which is why I, I saw all these 70s and 60s has to do with the school district. I have no idea what st state double A is for or against. I guess that's a ballot initiative question. Both of these are ballot initiative questions. Then I don't know also R4J Director District D. Eric M. Larson, he got 93 votes. He got all the votes. So Eric M. Larson in 2013 became the director of District D of whatever the fuck R4J is. So what he gets to tell some poor some poor guy living in a tent what to do. I mean, what, what the fuck is 4RJ? And then there's two districts. There's a District B and a District D. And then I would assume there's probably an A and a C. So, and so directors, these all seem to be school board things. So maybe it was like that Fowler thing. So maybe R4J is just another district, another small town district around the county. So, I mean, it's fucking weird, man. Cumulative? Why would they put all coordinated election? These are just, this is a completely different election. The county just has a monopoly on elections, which uh, I find I find uh, this. I don't know. I think the city could actually. I don't know why the city doesn't assert itself more. So the sixty director at large vote for two seventy director district three Jewel Dwellin. Uh, in 2013, the winners for the 60 director at large was Phyllis Sanchez and Patty Milner. So those are your two director at larges, whatever the fuck that means. And I have no idea if there's going to be any 60, 70, R4J, Fowler, any of these directors. Uh, District 5, District 3, District 4... Or any of the state ballot initiatives. I don't think there's any state ballot initiatives. And I know that there's two. So let's take a look at who won. 2013. So the stuff that I'm at least able to follow. High turnout rates. A lot of excitement for the 2013 election here in Pueblo. And I got this from the county page. And so that's why I'm, you know, shocked about this. What this tells me nothing. Here in 2005, no city council people ran. None. No city council, no civil service commissioners, no water board commissioners, none. Zero. And they ran in 2001, but not 2005. So what the fuck happened in 2005? I don't know. So let's take a look. 2013, you had uh, Chris Kaufman and Steve Norocki. They got the number one and number two spots. That's just four years ago. Chris Kaufman is not a city councilman today, so I'm not sure what happened to Chris Kaufman. He is not a city councilman today. Steve Norocki, he is the president, so he didn't crush like he crushed uh, in 2009, in 2009, he just fucking kicked ass. But he easily coasted to victory here, defeating Brian Mader, Larry Atencio, and Timothy Lopez. Then you had in District 1, Bob Schilling Jr., who lost to Amy Nolrocki. And then Amy, there's a recall election here, and I think Amy Nolrocki had to step down. 
And I'm not sure who got put in her place. Bob Schilling, apparently, right? So Bob Schilling lost. He lost four years ago, but somehow he's a city councilman today. And he lost by 200 votes. Amy Noraki fucking smashed Bob Schilling Jr. And then the city of public council district three was Ed Brown. Still Ed Brown today. Ed Brown's running again, and he ran against Mark Aleph. So Mark Aleph, give him you know he give him hell. Twelve hundred votes away. Not that. Not too shabby. All you do is change six hundred minds, but that gives you an indication if you're in district three. You get 4,000 votes. 4,000 votes gets you to victory. If you're in District 1, you know, 3,200 votes gets you to victory. So 4,000 votes and 3,200 votes. That's the goal. That's the goal number right there. So, um, yeah, that's, I think that's it about 2013. I would like to know these ballot initiatives, but it looks like two county initiatives, one rule. So it looks like the city had uh, just the state... 66 and state double A uh, ballot initiatives to vote for, but that's 2013. Okay, let's move on. So, this is 2009. 2009, look at Steve Noraki, got 34%, 14,000. <laughs> he smashed everybody. The next one below him was Chris Kaufman. So again, Chris Kaufman and Steve Noraki had won. I don't know where Chris Kaufman is at. He is not on the council today, even though he's he's won the last two elections, 2009 and 2013. And he crushed Josephine Gonzalez Guilford, Eric S. Taylor, Weston C. Burr, Lucretia Robinson, and Stephen Rodriguez. City of Pueblo Council Member District 1, Judy P. Weaver. Versus Christopher A. Nickel. And Nickel lost. So he finally got his dream job. Uh, Judy Weaver destroyed, not destroyed, beat him by 200, right? 3,200. 3,200 is the mag magic number in District 1. And then District 3, Larry Fancher versus Leroy Garcia. And Leroy Garcia beat Larry Fancher. I've seen Larry Fancher address City Council. This year, and also like 2001 or something, <laughs> really long time ago, maybe 2011. Um, but he was trying, he was vying in District 3. So, is he going to run for District 3 this year? He should. I and mean, why go to City Council complain when you could just, you know, get the gauntlet yourself? Now, some more comparisons there's Waterworks, vote for two. Uh, we're only voting for one. But you see who won here, Nicholas Gratisar, and then Thomas Ottoby. So Gratisar, he's a water board member. That's who he is. He's a lawyer, and he's on the water board. At least he won in 2009, civil service commissioner, six-year position. Sharon Bonner became a civil service commissioner without anybody running against her. She was just handed that position because she was smart enough to know where to throw her hat in the ring. She raised her hand, she knew exactly what she was doing, and she won. You know, look, she got 17,000 votes, even though, you know, all she needed was one, just herself. So that's a lot of votes, right? Overwhelmingly, everybody's like, hell yeah, she's going to be the best goddamn civil service commissioner ever. Sharon Bonner. 60 director at large, 70 director, district 3, district 4. Look at all the same shit. My guess is we're going to have these uh, director, 60 is going to have a director at large. We're going to have to vote for two. And look, it was Stephanie Garcia and Phyllis K. Sanchez. So this is 2009, but I've seen this twice, 2013 and 2009. So this is, you know, I don't like not knowing. They're not giving us enough information. Um, 70 director district 3, district 4, and then another one district 5. And then question 300, Charter Amendment. Question 2A, Charter Amendment. And actually, I do have some supplemental materials with that. So here, question 2A. So basically, the same fucking questions, I think. Except for just weirdly fucking worded questions, okay? So here's question 2A, and it says that, uh, would you prefer to keep the current manager council government not 
elect to have a mayoral position created to govern the city. Instead, this would create a head of the council. Call him the mayor. There is a desperation to get this motherfucker, president of city council, to be called mayor. And just call him fucking mayor. That's who the fuck he is. He's the face, the president of the city council. He's the fucking mayor. All this extra shit to fuck with the form of government just to get them to call them the mayor. They don't change to just the fucking name. And of course, 80% said no. Nick Gardasar, so fuck, fuck your stupid ass shit. So, and then you're going to have an identical one here. Do you want to change the fucking government? So you basically had two choices. One, change it to a mayor council. Or two, just let's call him mayor. And they've rejected them both overwhelmingly. Fuck you. Fuck you stupid mayor bullshit. They don't like the way it was worded. And then I did read the ballot initiative. I want to see. Yeah, this is it. So this is a strong mayor amendment. This is $88,000 per month. So they're making a fucking titan. They're making a super rich, super wealthy person. And they're doing it illegally. You cannot fucking do it like this. You got to have a charter convention. But they don't give a shit. I don't know if they're going corrupt or if they're already corrupt. But if they're already corrupt, then, you know, Lord help us all. You have, uh, this one was smashed too. I mean, in terms of politics, look, two-thirds of the people said, fuck this bullshit. And so why are we doing it again? Here we are, you know, uh, eight years later doing this same fucking question again. But that's 2009. That's what we uh, were asking about in 2009. Right here. So what did they say? They said, no, we don't want the Charter Amendment. And then they said, no, we don't want this Charter Amendment either. So we don't want to call on the mayor. We don't change to the fucking mayor. Fuck the Charter Amendment. That was the two issues that City Council came up with. And then look at this. Pine Drive Water District Ballot Issue 5A. Pine Drive Water District Ballot Issue 5B. What the fuck is that? We have another district here. So we've had, what, that R for J. And then we had Pine Drive. We had Fowler. I mean, we've had a lot of very specific districts that I don't know where they actually, you know. Who are these people who's voting? And look, it was only, what, 100 votes? 82 to 15? 82 to 15? And they both voted yes. So why did the Pine Water... So both issues they voted yes on the same way. Both of the fucking district people. So those hundred people got to vote on something that the rest of us didn't get to vote on. I just want to know what it was. And then why is it on this city? I mean, the coordinate it just seems like the city could have its own election. I don't even know why the county's sticking their fucking nose and doing this all this other shit. We can have our own... You know, school district 60 director at large, that's the city position. And then let them figure out the county shit. We could have our own elections here. Why do we give, we should not cede our election power to the county. And we got $81 million. How many millions do they have? Who's more powerful, the county or the city? I got a lot of questions here, and I don't know who to ask. I, we should have an ombudsman. There should be a point, a point man, or a point. I guess I've been called the city manager's office. Uh, their secretary is there, Tracy. She seems uh, forthcoming with information. Uh, Gina, she's a good. Uh, she seems forthcoming with information. But some of these secretaries, some of these bureaucrats are just pricks. They don't know what the fuck is going on, but they're nosy as fuck. So, uh, 2005, we'll just see what happened with the county. So we did have public school district 60. I think this district 60 is the city district. So vote for two of them. Kathleen Kitty Kennedy. She probably Kitty is what wanted her. That Stephanie Garcia, and then the school district seventy, district three, district four, district five. I mean, this is three years in a fucking row that we've had district seventy, district three, district four, district five. So I'm gonna guess that we're gonna have all these same elections, district sixty two. So I'm gonna need to write that down. Who are the directors of? Uh, the school district director at large for District 60. Who the fuck are these two at large people? Somebody is trying to, you know, um, they're trying to screw the pooch, to be honest with you. How the fuck do you get on this ballot list? You don't go to the city clerk, do you? You have to go to the county clerk. And so here it is. No, this is District 54 JT. What? 54 JT director, four year term vote for three. So, three directors for the Edison School District. And votes, is this here, is this real? 
literally seven votes, seven, six, five votes. So Janine Minzer was the ultimate loser. She only had one friend. But Lori Whittemore had six friends. So she's now the director of the Edison School District. What the fuck? West Park Fire Protection District vowed question 6A. So fire protection for wherever West Park is. And no city council. No city council. Wait, here's some referendum C, referendum D. And they were close. Look, 51 to 48 percent, 50 to 49. I wonder what the questions were. 2005, no city council, no water district, no civil service commissioner. But there is public school district 60. So that's a city thing. I have found something else out due to my research. You're welcome, Pueblo. 2001. So this is the farthest back that I'm going to go. This is all on the county page. And um, this is the farthest back I think they went. So let's see here. The, you know, all the registered voters, there was that one 4,000, right? 40. 4,000 mail-in ballots. It wasn't always mail-in ballots, too. The special election was uh, vote at the place. Ballots, 34,000 uh, people voted at the special election in 2013 to kick Angela Guerin out in order to get George Rivero. So, wow, 34 fucking thousand came out for a special election. So I bet there was a lot of focus, a, bit, a lot of conversations about who is Angela Guerin, who is George Rivera, and a lot of people came out. They voted not by mail, and they voted in person, and so that's something. So 34,000, 44,000, 22,000, the 2001, 22,000, that was 27%, the 44,000 was 47%, so... It doesn't seem like a higher population, just seems like a greater turnout rate, but I would assume both. I mean, American democracy. So, 2001. Let's talk about 2001. 80,000 registered voters. The top I've seen is 103. And uh, so, let's look at the margins here. That's another thing you could look at is how many votes did they win for city council? So in order to win city council, the two 6,000 votes, right? Bill Sova, Mikey Ochiato. Once you got 6,000, you're, you know, there. You're a council member at large. And the more, you want more people actually to join in, uh, I think, because, uh, well, I don't know. City of Pueblo Council District 1, there's Bob Schilling, he won in 2001, beat Joe Lindenmeyer and Victoria Esquibel. District 3, nobody ran against Randy Thurston. So Randy Thurston gets to become city councilman without any opposition whatsoever. motherfucking ever. So Board of Waterworks, six-year position. You had Kevin McCarthy beat Vera Ortegon. Julie Altimore Scalpo, 13,000 votes. City of Pueblo member, Board of Waterworks. Uh, Civil Service Commissioner Robert Hawkins, Fowler School District, Pueblo School District 60, Director at Large, Vote for Two, Ray Aguilera ran for this, lost, that's interesting, he's a city councilman now, and the winners would be Kathleen Kitty Kennedy and Gail A. Rodosevic, Alan Anderson and Ralph L. Ray both lost, then you have School District 70, District number 3, 4, and 5. Amendment 26, Referendum A, term limits on the District Attorney, 10th Judicial District, allow more than two terms. What the fuck? No, Pueblo, you voted wrong there. You you loved your District Attorney, even if you did. Yeah, that means you just opened the door for them to be, you know, the, uh, you know, fucking dictator forever. 2001, I hope we don't have the same DA that we did in 2001. And it was barely. Look, it was only 700 votes. They took term limits away. Fuck, Pueblo. Term limits are good. Two term limits. It's good enough for George Washington. Good enough for the rest of us. The incumbents, 95% retention rate. They got just too much entrenched power. So give everybody a chance. Equal opportunity. What the fuck? Term limit board of county commissioners. Allow more than two terms. 
No. <laughs> they would not allow the county commissioners. It was okay for the DA, the 10th Judicial Circuit, but not the county commissioners. Now what is this? Ballot question 1A, and then the Fowler District, there was two people, Eric Larson 1, beat Von Lieber. Ballot question 1A, yes, was victorious. Coordinated election November 6th. What's coordinated about this? Oh, yeah, this was coordinated. 2005, I don't know where the city elected for 2005 is. But ballot question 2A, 3C, 3D, 5A. <laughs> And look, 28 people voted yes, but 41 voted no. So, ballot question 3D was failed. 16,000 people voted here. What is going on? So, if you're Bob Schilling, all you need is, what, 2370? All right, 2200 votes? <laughs> Do your own math. If you're a city councilman, just figure it out yourself. I hope it's fair. Let's take a look at the. Uh, see, I can't find it. I googled it. Can't find it. Now let's take a look at the special election, and then we're out. So I already mentioned before, this was election day ballots, so not mail ballots. Apparently, everybody in Colorado has mail ballots, and you're weird if you. You don't do it by mail. <laughs> um, Angela Giron was kicked out. 19,000 people said yes, kick her out. And then 19,000 voted for George Rivera. So essentially the same amount of people that voted against Angela voted for George. There was 2,600 people that voted for some write-in. So I wish they would have actually published those write-ins and their respective vote totals. Uh, because, I mean, I guess write-in, that's all you really need to know, right? George Rivera won, but who who was the top write-in candidates? That's exciting. Who got, was there one main candidate who got a thousand write-in votes? And then what the hell? Why does everybody hate Angela Guerin? What did Angela Guerin do to everybody else? 15,000 try to hold off. They try to save her job. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, I don't know. But this would have been, um, you know, this might have had something to do with the high turnout rate in 2013. There was a pre-election before the actual election. So people got, you know, uh, they got excited about it. You could have an election. Election's coming up, so let's practice, you know. Is Angela Giron good? I don't know. Is George Rivera good? I don't know. Let me talk to my, you know, I'm going to be a voter. I'm such a... Pump his ass up at voter. <laughs> Do they deserve my vote? I don't know. Heavens to Betsy. 